Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome. Today we're gonna to start a new career with American Truck Simulator and we are going to expand the base American Truck Simulator world. We're gonna add a chunk of Canada, the entire eastern half of the United States, Mexico, potentially adding even later, Alaska and some other elements to the game. With that in mind, we have a lot of places to explore. Let's get started. In this episode, we're gonna start a brand new profile. We're gonna install and take a look at the mods that we've added, and we're gonna do our very first tutorial, kind of that first little drive. While we're doing that drive, we'll talk a little bit about the house rules for the save. Let's not waste any time, let's get started. First up, we need a new profile, because I have a level 27 from the base career that we've been running. So we are going to go to Manage Profiles down here and let us get started by adding a new profile. I'll fill this information in and then we'll be right back. All right, Zilla Jr. is our name. I've got a profile picture, but I'll substitute this out later for the World of Trucks profile picture. Preferred truck design, I went with Freightliner this time. Company logo, a bunny, because we are fast like rabbits. Second Gear Trucking is the name of the company. And before I click commit, Create here, I want to go up to the Mod Manager, and I'm going to add in all the mods that we're going to use, at least most of them. So I'll do that, and then we'll take a look at what I've, what I've added. Mods are added. Let's take a quick walk through them just to get an idea of what they do. The top two are graphics mods, so they're going to go near the top of the load order. Uh, real companies, gas stations, and billboards with real advertisements. Next are extended traffic light. This makes traffic green lights and red lights longer in the game, which is a little bit easier to get through them. Minimal advisor interface puts all the information from the truck at the bottom of the screen. I really like that one. Photo camera no limit means you can move your camera around a lot more when you're taking screenshots of your truck. Sizzle's mega pack adds a ton of stuff to the interior of the truck so it's really good for kind of spiffing out the interior of your truck now we come to the big theme of this save which is the maps the first four mods here are the definition pack models assets and map pack for pro mods canada we'll take a look when we're driving what this adds to the game then this next patch this next mod is reformer other maps compatibility reformer map is the mexico map that has to come later but you need this patch if you're using other maps with the mexico map then Coast to Coast adds the entire half of the Eastern United States to the game. Project Better Arizona, and this is a, a map compatibility patch for this too. This expands Arizona in the base game, putting a lot more stuff in it. So I'm curious to see what that looks like. Our final three here, or the final two of three here, Unimex and Reformer are two maps that add Mexico and then another little chunk of Southern Mexico to the game. And then the mega resources is for this Reformer map that just adds some of the elements you need to make that run. That is it. What I might add later is Alaska, but we'll talk about that at some point in the near future. And with all that being said, it is time to confirm our changes and we are ready to create our mod. I'll create our new profile here. Okay, we are all set. Let's click on create. Now I'm going to probably pull out of the game here. I'm gonna do the wizard right now. I think I'm gonna pull my configuration file in from my other big long career because I've got it tweaked all the way I want it. So I'm going to copy that into this one so I don't have to mess around with all the settings. I'm going to try that and hopefully it will work. Now here is one of the splash screens for Reformer. Reformer. And if you look at that road, a lot of the Mexican roads, they're like this. They go up these winding mountains. It looks really cool. I am so excited to kind of explore all these new regions. And I really feel like we should add Alaska to this career save as well. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm especially curious if you've played the Alaska mod because it costs 20 bucks too, so it might be something to, it's not necessarily free like, free like all these others are. I'm gonna wait for this to load up. The first time you load it up, I think it takes about five minutes or so, so it takes a little while. I'll be back in a minute. All right, the first thing we have to do is to pick our first garage location. We're gonna go Denver, kind of in the middle of the core game of the map. So I'll confirm that selection. Do we wanna walk through the tutorial? No. Now I think it's gonna take another moment or so to load up our first tutorial truck here, and then we'll be off and running. All right, here we go. Splash screen start. Welcome to American Truck Simulator. At last, you have the chance to experience your dream job, driving a truck. Your own transportation company is now open for business, but sadly, you lack the money to buy a truck. For now, you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire, and that's going to be our first objective as quickly as possible to get a new truck, our own truck. Your task is to safely deliver a load of furniture to Walmart Logistics Center Dock in Denver. Your employer has provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. And we have the Guardians of Galaxy movie. Oh, that's cool. Denver Stadium. And we are set here. I'm going to let this load up. We're only going to get $360 for it. This is a very short delivery, usually the first one. It's usually like 15 minutes or a half an hour or something like that. Not that I've spent a lot of time starting other saves and things like that. Okay, so I'm gonna wait a couple minutes for this to save here. 
two minutes, two miles. What? It's a two minute drive for this first one. Really? <laughs> Let's take a look at our truck. All right. Oh, we're at the UPS facility. Furniture loaded up. We're taking it to Walmart. Okay. I am going to actually mess around now with the settings for this, and I'm going to try to fix these and get them exactly the way I like it. Get some of the views and stuff like that. I'll be back in a few minutes. All righty. I thank you to Parkera who told me you can copy a configuration file from one save to another. I just did that. It's working perfectly. All of the controls and stuff like that appear to be working brilliantly. That saves a lot of time. That's a good trick. So looking at the map here, just <laughs> this is like a two minute drive. We're literally going from UPS just across the street and they're paying us 363 bucks to carry this furniture. It's a one minute, two minute delivery. Now, nah. so instead, but there are a couple of question marks here. So to extend it a little bit longer, we're gonna go out and try to find this question mark, which I'm guessing is a recruitment agency. And then we do wanna pick up this question mark here, which I think is a dealer, because that's one of our goals in these first two deliveries is to try to unlock as many question marks as we can, because that's gonna give us more options for buying a starter truck so we'll go do this and then i think what we're going to do is try to go around the block here somehow and figure out how to come back it might end up being a much longer journey but that's okay because we got some time to burn the one minute journey doesn't give us really much time to check the check this truck out and get our feet wet here in uh american truck simulator so we'll get started here now and off we go I am very excited to start a new save. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I am extremely excited too by exploring the map. We will take a look at the map in this episode a little bit too. So this looks like one of our question marks over there. And I don't know if we're going to be able to discover it from here. So we'll come around again from the other side. It doesn't look like they're going to give it to us here. But let's see if we can just nudge out here and get it. Nope, did not give it to us. Okay, because that does look like it's definitely a recruitment agency. And we want to pick that up. So this is our delivery right here. <laughs> it's the Walmart here, but we're going to go on. We're going to drive on because we're going to make this a little bit bigger. And with this time, what I would like to do is to talk a little bit about the house rules that I'll have for this career. The first of which, and if you're familiar with the channel and familiar with the original Zilla Blitz channel, you'll know what kind of dealer is this, by the way? This, uh international, most excellent. Give it to us. There we go. Good. So we'll be able to pick a beginner international truck from our options as well. Let's go this way here. This truck actually drives pretty well. I kind of like this Freightliner. This is the first time I think I've driven a Freightliner in the game. So it's kind of fun. It's very smooth. So we will go left. What's the map going to do with us now here? It's going to take us. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want to do. This route right here. So yes, to go back to the idea of house rules. And it's going to work. Ah, oh, it's perfect. That didn't work. There we go. Blinkers. Oh, this is great. Um, so the idea of house rules. Sorry, I get distracted somewhat easily. If you've seen other careers with this, you may be familiar with that. But one of the rules is it's a point of view driving career. So when the truck is moving, the view we see is from inside the cab here. So it's going to be looking at that. Now I can do external views sometimes to take some pictures or to like show some of the scenery and stuff like that. But for the most part, when there's anything challenging driving going on, I'm going to be looking at it from this way. I just feel like this is kind of more realistic and it's harder, especially for backing up. And speaking of backing up, the next house rule is that I almost always back up. So there are some exceptions, like if the driver in game is super tired, he's going to pass out. Then I might just do the auto parking, figuring that, OK, we got to not have him pass out in the game. Or if I'm under tire, I'm kind of time pressure in real life, then I might just say, OK, I'm just going to skip it because I'm under time pressure. But other than that, I really like the parking and that's, I think, one of the, it's actually, I think it's one of the best parts of the game. I really do. And I really like too how it's different in American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator, how those two things, I mean, it's, the trucks are, they handle so differently in both games. Here we go. Finally, green light. I wonder too, I feel like traffic has gotten lighter in the game since the last update. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that. I was thinking the drivers got better, but then someone was saying a comment in one of the other videos that they thought traffic had gotten less. And I know they increased traffic with the 1.46 update. Maybe they tweaked it back down because they got complaints or something like that in 1.47. I felt like there was a good bit there's a good bit more traffic in 1.46 to the point sometimes where in certain spots it was a little bit not so much fun. All right, we are going to go left here again. Anyway, we'll get uh, out onto the highway here. Oops, going over the curb. You didn't see that. Uh, we'll get out on the highway here, and then we'll take a look at the maps that we're using in the game. I, it's Mexico map. That looks so cool. And I was looking at a video on the Alaska map, which I think I will add. That looks pretty cool, too. So 
pretty excited about. We'll see you back in a second. All right, we are back on the highway. Now we are getting off the highway here, but let's take a quick gander at the maps that we'll be using in this save here. So um, this is, of course, Denver, where we are starting on. This is all part of the base game, but let's start going to the east here. So if we look to the east, we can see that we've got the entire eastern seaboard. This is the coast to coast mod. Now, a lot of it in here, as people have mentioned, is pretty sparse, like Detroit, Cleveland. You can see there's not many cities, especially in the northern half. Some of the other places, like down south here, it looks like they've got some of the cities, kind of the states fleshed out a little bit more. And in particular here, Kansas is pretty packed with stuff. So it's gonna be fun to kind of explore these and things like that, but just to kind of go to Boston. I mean, that's cool. And maybe we get enough distance up. We could go from Holton, Maine, all the way down to the southwestern corner of Los Angeles. That'd be pretty cool. So that looks good. Florida is well down here. Looks like it's pretty fleshed out. So I'm excited to kind of explore that. Then if we go north up here, right now, what I've got installed so far is the ProMods expansion. This adds this southwestern tip of Canada. Uh, there is a Canadian mod, but it looks like at this point in time, people are having trouble hooking these up. The, the map, the mod that combines these, Create, was creating some issues and some of the roads weren't matching ma uh, matching up. Eventually, I'd like to add the joiner up to the Alaska mod. So I think I'll probably add that sooner than later. And then the big one that I'm really excited about, well, oh, I added also um, an Arizona reworked. This kind of fleshes out a lot of the cities and towns um, in Arizona and kind of makes it a different experience. So we'll check that one out as well. And then take a look at Mexico. So many cities and look at these roads in here. They're so squiggly. It's like spaghetti. That's going to be fun. I am really excited to drive down there. We're going to need a little bit better truck, I think, to drive down there. We're going to need a truck, first of all. And it keeps going down. And then that second Mexico mod adds some cities in here, as well as this expansion over here to the southeast as well. And we have the whole the isthmus down here to kind of check out too. So lots of things to explore. Let me know down in the comments where you think we should go first. Should we go coast to coast? Should we go south and explore Arizona and Mexico, or should we head up to the Pro Mods option there? Stop. Okay, Pro Mods option, and check out the southwestern tip of Canada, potentially heading right up into Alaska. I could think that'd be a really fun journey. All righty, so now let's see if we can get this other question mark when we drive by it here, too. We've already got the international truck dealer and now let's see if we can pick up this recruitment agency and then we will drop off our furniture they probably wonder where we went right because we like pulled out of the ups and they could see us right there there's our furniture and we just kind of completely ignored them and drove around but you know if they can't take a joke yeah exactly so we'll continue down here momentarily i'll see you as we turn the corner for this uh first recruitment agency hopefully you can snare it too too so we are making our corner here. Now I was looking at this green icon for this recruitment agency. I don't think we're going to be able to get it from the main road here. I think it's too far away. I just think we might have to turn right. Let's see if we get it. I'm gonna go real slowly here. Yes, we got it. Okay, good. Cause I was thinking we might have to go down there and then make a U-turn. That would be an adventure, but we picked it up. So we got our first recruitment agency and we got our first discovered dealership. Both of these things are good. And now Walmart is right in front of us. Let's see, are we gonna get the 90 parking? That would be most excellent indeed. This looks like the entry right here. Let's take a nice wide turn. And I, I do actually, I confess, I like how this Freightliner is handling here. This is good. Now give us a 90, 90, yes, that's a good omen. Now can we make it in the first shot? It looks like it's right in front of us. Oh, perfect. Look at that. It is right in front of we got a forklift in the way we got these trailers in the way we got this truck sticking out oh this is excellent okay we're gonna totally get this though I'm sure we are okay so I go buy it a little bit and pull over here leave us enough room to bank the corner and let's see how our angle looks here how are we doing let's check this out what's up with my wheel here there we go and oh, I think we need to go a little bit forward I think I should have gone past it a little bit more first. Let's see how this looks. Challenge accepted. Here we go. Can we drop it in on the first shot? I'm going to I'm going to break this one sharp, I think. This has to really tuck in there nice. We might be this might not be a very good angle for this. I'm going to straighten it out real quick too. We're going up on the sidewalk, but that's okay. Hmm, we might have rescued this one here. We may very well have rescued this one. 
This is actually looking pretty good. Oh, we gotta straighten it up this way, this way, this way, this way. This way, this way, this way. Come on. Come on. Come on. I might have screwed it up there at the end. Come back in. Come back in, curve it over, and now twist it this way to drop it in. Oh, we hit the forklift. Let's go back and see if it goes straight. See if that'll work. That forklift got in the way. Oh, we got it. Nice. That was... <laughs> I think that's newbie generous. <laughs> that guy's like behind us. Like, what the heck are you doing on my forklift, dude? Yeah, that's... I, do, they, do you think the zones get bigger? Because I feel like that's pretty... <laughs> That's pretty generous. We really, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> we'll take it though. Happy home, we are here. Dropping off that furniture. Sorry about the scrapes on the little forklift there. 18 miles, 363 bucks, 120 experience. It's not gonna get us to level one. No, we're still level zero. We are zeros. And anyway, that brings us to the end of this episode. Um, Next episode, we're going to do our first real delivery, saving up enough money and I'll be kind of opening up the bank option, hopefully, that we can get a loan and buy our first truck. I'll put a link to episode two as soon as it's ready. Oh, extra bonus content. I forgot about this. This is your headquarters. Boy, look at that garbage outside. Couldn't we at least pick that up? I do like how we have swing sets here. That's pretty cool. That'd be nice for lunchtime break. It's a pretty basic garage. It may not be much, but it's a start. And we have a big swing set over here on the other side. That is really cool, this thing on the top right. That's gonna make for nice lunchtime breaks. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park here yet, so there are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you will be able to move into the world freely and run your own business from here. That is our first goal. Good luck is to get a truck. There you go, I'll put a link to episode two as soon as it's ready. Let us know, let me know which way you think we should go, north, east, or south, once we get our first truck and start on our way. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day, bye.